Hello everybody, welcome to the morning coffee break. My name's Kathy, and today, well actually yesterday, I started digging out the hole for the foundation for my little hobbit cob doghouse that I'm going to build. Now, you may think that with me at 60 years old, that it's and I have a full-time job to go along with it. Uh, but this is kind of a crazy venture, but hey, I wanted to try it, and there's nobody here to stop me, so if it doesn't work out, all I've got is a big hole in the ground, right? So, let me show you a little bit about what's going on. I have, uh, yesterday I dug out around where I wanted my um, little hobbit hole to go. And I've got about half of it dug out where I'm going to level the floor. Um, once all of that's dug out, then I've got to dig the foundation, which is going to have to be a little bit deeper than what this is. Now, I imagine that right in there, it's about 15 to 18 inches deep. It's about knee deep, actually, for me. And once that's dug out, got to dig the grass and the shadow will hit you. I've got to dig out the actual foundation, which is going to be about 15 inches wide. The foundation and then the walls will go on top and they'll be just as wide. My lens cap out of the way. So the stick marks out the 15 inches and don't mind my dirty shoe, but so my shadow won't hit too bad. I don't guess you can see that. Anyway, find something that you can use as a reference. This is the width of my shovel blade. So you can see that's a, that's a pretty good ways off. And the reason that I have to do it that wide is because I want to do a uh, living roof on top. It may work out, it may not. We'll find out as we go along. And if you think that I'm some kind of master builder or something you're wrong, I have been watching YouTube videos and I bought a book. I'm working my way into learning how to do this. I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. Hopefully there won't be too very many of them. Uh, I may get halfway through this and decide that I can't do it and give it up. I don't think I will, but there's always that possibility. Now yesterday, I took some of the dirt that I dug up out of this hole, mixed it with water. This East Tennessee soil is, is pretty heavy in the clay area, so as you can see, when I compacted that wet soil, wet clay. This is not even completely dry. And it's hard as a rock. There is some that'll come off of it still, but it, like I said, it's not dry yet. It's going to have to have a couple of days before it's really good and dry. So I think my clay content in this soil is going to be really good. Maybe a little bit thinner, about finger, about finger size, just to see how it was going to do, and it's holding up well, it's not dry yet, and just as a little further experiment, I mixed some sand with the clay, and threw in some dry grass, this is basically what they used to make bricks out of, although the grass was not what they used, they used straw, and that's what I'll use eventually, but as you can see, it's starting to get dry, and as it turns a little lighter color there as it dries and I think this is going to hold up well so I can drop it on the ground and it doesn't break that's a good sign alright so I'm about halfway through digging this hole I'm going to stop for now because I've got some other yard work to do but I want to show you what I've got down here and I moved all my uh, dirt down here 
at the in nice shady spot so when I get ready to mix cob although I'm gonna have to carry water all the way up here but at least I'll be in the shade this is shady all day long I've got some topsoil pulled out over here that I can use in other places like where the dogs dug up holes chasing moles and that kind of thing but I've also got a big pile of clay started over here where I've been digging. And I would imagine that I'll have plenty of clay to do the cob work that I want to do. Now, as I work through this, I will have to sift it all out, get all of the uh, uh, organic material out of it before I start using it for cob. So, that's, like I said, this is a labor-intensive process. And it's going to take, especially since it's just me, it's going to take a while. Now, the reason that I decided to put the doghouse where I did is because the door will be facing south. And that gives me a lot of the midday and some of the morning sun. The uh, walls to the cob house will be very uh, heat resilient, I guess you would say. It retains heat very well. So even in the winter, it's going to be hopefully quite warm. Now in the uh, summertime, the, the earth itself will keep it nice and cool. But it should stay a fairly constant temperature all year long. Um, the really cold days, it might get a little cooler inside, but hey, the dogs are not going to mind. Actually, if I bring them in the house, they're not crazy about that. Uh, the heat in there, so they're used to being outside, so they, they like it a little cooler but than this 80 and 90 degree weather, but, you know, 60s and 50s is right up their alley. Now, this also has the western sun coming in right on this, this area. So, it shines here all the way up till sunset. It's going to keep it nice and warm, and once that earth receives all of that heat, it'll hold on to it for quite a while before it releases it all in the night when it's cooler. So hopefully this will be a good place for it to be. Um, there'll be a little, little, there will be a little shade in the morning as the sun comes up on the other side of the house here. But the rest of the day it's going to be receiving heat, going to be receiving light. And that's why I decided to put it here. So this is where I'm going to leave it for now. Uh, I'm thankful that I've got it dug out far enough now that I can get the wheelbarrow into the hole. It makes it a lot easier to, to just shovel that stuff in there. So, but I've got other work to do right now and I'm going to quit this for now. It's going to take a while anyway, so I'm in no hurry. Thanks for joining me guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as I can. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the little bell to receive notifications for when I make a new video. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.